made of women with hungry hearts and their steel. Blah, 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 blah. Anxiously waiting for sips uh, of the honey that dribbles and drips. Uh, from the silver spoon pressed to your lips, your microphone, your microphone, a microphone. <laughs> Hello, hello, friends. It is day 11 of the 30-day live challenge for Facebook. I'm Justin Guarini. Hey, welcome. Thank you so very much for watching. As always, I love to know where you are watching from. So why don't you type in the comments down there and let me know where it is in the world that you're watching from. We've had people from all over the U.S. We've had some people from overseas in Canada as well. And it's just I think it's just exciting to know where you're watching from. If you're watching this live, <laughs> there's my, my chair making noise here. If you're watching this live, let me know with a hashtag live. If you're watching it on the replay, let me know. Uh, hashtag replay. This is day 11 of my 30 day live challenge. Hey, Christy Kelly from New Hampshire. What's up? How you doing? Thank you so very much for watching. Uh, this is day 11 of the 30 day live Joan from Philadelphia. How are you? And I've enjoyed myself, Sarah. Hey, thanks for coming to see uh, women on the verge. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me to actually talk about it. Debbie from Daytona. Um, women on the verge was my very first Broadway show and it has a little bit of a, a link that number the microphone in terms of uh, using your voice and using the things that you have to say in order to speak to the topic of today, which leads me uh, right into scarcity versus abundance and prosperity. And what I mean is that number from Women on the Verge was called the microphone. And uh, there is uh, are a lot of people, myself included, who will vacillate, go back and forth between speaking scarcity and speaking abundance and prosperity. And so as we make the shift towards artist mindset mastery, towards mindset mastery work, um, before I get started, if you are an artist, a performing artist, you're a singer, actor, a dancer, and you love to perform, uh, won't you check out Artist Mindset Mastery. Click the link above this video or in the comments and join the new Artist Mindset Mastery Facebook group. Inside there, we have discussions like this. We go even further with coursework right there. We give you the Artist Mindset method, uh, method tools that help you to perform with confidence and so very much more. There's a wonderful community of folks. I have not quite opened it yet. Uh, we, I'm just I'm so close. Hey, if you have registered, that reminds me, if you've registered for the group and you're like, why, why is he not letting us in? I'm actually waiting for 20 more people to join. 20 more people to register and then I'm going to open it up. Now, like full disclosure, I would love to have this flood of people and talking and having excitement and stuff like that, but it also helps with the Facebook algorithm and Facebook is like, whoa, all those people join the group and let's talk about it. And this. So it's just more is more is more for everyone. But at the end of the day, when you register, not only do I ask you a couple of questions to help us better serve you in that group, but I also give away a free training, a mindset training called the power of questions. And it is awesome, if I don't say so myself. I happen to like it very much, I enjoy it, and it is a great, great talk, PowerPoint presentation that isn't boring about the power of questions and how to root out a thought or a feeling that does not serve you and how to replace it. It's almost like weeding in the garden of your brain and planting seeds of prosperity and abundance. Hey, speaking of, let's get right down to it. So, scarcity versus abundance and prosperity. All right, here are my points to ponder today. One, let's talk about scarcity. Scarcity is a belief that there will never be enough, resulting in feelings of fear, stress, and anxiety. Oh, oh! and shocker, shocker McShockersons, aren't we living in a time of great scarcity? Right? The, the feeling that there will never be uh, uh, enough time, that there will never be enough uh, vaccines, that there will never be enough, uh, I don't know, love in the world. There's a million number money, uh, just enough of anything and everything inside of the COVID-19 world. Scarcity is a huge, huge challenge that we are all facing 
Like I like to say, I consider myself a mentor in the mindset space. And it still is a challenge for me on a daily base to, basis to not fall into the trap of scarcity. Yes, there will not be enough. I mean, classic example, Jen, of not being enough toilet paper. My goodness, we are still struggling with that to this day. It's like, it's, it's wild. I go into the market and the toilet paper aisle slash uh, paper towel aisle is still decimated and uh, probably will be for some, quite some time to come. So I think scarcity is something that we all intimately understand. But Remember, we're talking about a scarcity versus abundance and prosperity. A lot of people will confuse or meld abundance and prosperity. And the reason why I wanted to bring that up is because they're two very similar yet distinct things that do not work without the other. And I'll tell you why. Abundance flows from a deep inner sense of personal worth and security. It is a heart thing. A lot of people think, oh, abundance just got to be money, right? Mm -mm, no. Abundance is that inner sense, that fullness of heart, worth, security, okay? Now, let's take a, a look at the cousin, or I should say the brother or sister or sibling of abundance, which is prosperity. Now, here's what the thing that most people think abundance itself is. Pro prosperity is that successful flourishing, thriving condition, especially in financial respects. Good fortune is your wallet, okay? So that's why I put abundance and prosperity here and here because they are linked together, but very separate. And one does not work without the other. If we look at this prosper prosperity, which is the flourishing, in terms of financial respects, that good fortune, I can tell you, I know people who are extremely prosperous, who are millionaires many, many times over, but they are living in a scarcity world and in a scarcity mindset. Why? Because for all the money in the world that they have, for all the power and influence in the world that they have, the prosperity that they have, they do not believe that they have abundance, which is that deep inner sense of personal worth and security, which cannot be bought. Does that make sense? Okay. So my final word here is that abundance and prosperity are your birthright. It is a natural state of being. If you look at it from uh, even a biblical standpoint, there is a verse um, that basically says, Proverbs 11, uh, 24 through 25, uh, one person gives freely yet gains even more. Another one withholds unduly but comes to poverty. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. And I know that's more like uh, the, the give to get. But again, it's just that prosperity, giving, the giving. And often getting really results from a state of giving. And a natural being, you want to look at it from a, a scientific point of view, um, that's a little bit more on the money, is Newton's first law, right? Uh, a, a body that is at rest tends to stay at rest. Um, a um, uh, uh, Yet a body that is in motion tends to stay in motion, going at the same speed in the same direction, expansion, unless acted on upon by an un balanced force. I know I just whoop. I think I just lost 50 people watching right now. But at the end of the day, your natural state of being is growth, is abundance, is prosperity, is having enough. If you want to look at it from strictly a money standpoint, it's like there are trillions of dollars, trillions of dollars flowing over our heads every single day around the globe is what it is. Whether there's a pandemic, whether there's not a pandemic, whether there's economic decline or economic uh, growth, it still is happening. And the people who understand that abundance and prosperity are a birthright understand that that literal, the ones and zeros and the information that are flowing through our heads and all around us, all we have to do is like a radio with radio stations that are invisible, right? The the uh, frequencies that are invisible. We just have to attune our radio to that frequency in order to get that channel, 
in order to get that information. Well, it's the same thing with abundance, uh, abundance and prosperity. We must attune ourselves to the ideas and concepts of abundance and prosperity in order to gain the information necessary to receive it. I mean, uh, look, there is no lack of technology. I, I said, hey, you know what? Uh, one time to a friend, of mine, I was like, hey, you know, I'm thinking about marketing. And all of a sudden I got like 50,000 marketing emails every single time I go on Instagram, every single time I go on YouTube, every single time I go anywhere, there is at least one ad that tells me about an app uh, that uh, I can create, that tells me about a new marketing software, that tells me about a new way to do this, that. The, so the technology is there. The creativity is there. There was somebody who just was like, oh, I'm going to mix some of these things in a little pot. And, you know, I really love painting nails and blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden they made a, uh, a nail polish that they then leverage the creativity, they leverage technology in order to get it out to people. And they just, I think it was, was it hard candy? I think that might be the a bastardized version of the story of hard candy, the nail polish. So at the end of the day, abundance and prosperity, your birthright, it's a natural state of being and technology and our creativity and our ability to connect with other people around the globe, make it so, help to make it so. I should say. Yes, Ashley, tapping into the abundance that is all around us. And of course, this is not just limited to finances. I know a lot of us are thinking about finances right now, but it also comes to work, comes to relationships, comes to a connection on a spiritual level, whether that's God, Yahweh, Buddha, the great nothing, the universe, spirit, whatever you want to call it, but it's there. But what do we have to do? We have to attune ourselves to the frequency of abundance and prosperity. Just like we take our radios and we tune it to top 40, we tune it to country, we tune it to whatever it is that we want to have or hear, whatever it is that will give us that inner sense of worth and security and love. <laughs> so at the end of the day, my question for you is where in your world can you make the switch from living and thinking in scarcity to living and thinking in abundance and prosperity. I would love to uh, hear some of your thoughts on this. Let's go through, maybe check, you wanna pull up some of the uh, comments here. Yeah, Michelle Lee says, I get it. When I give of myself, I find people all around me that I helped have my back if I find myself in need. Absolutely, that is sowing seeds in your own garden and in the garden of other people's. And, and you never know the people that you help how they're going to pay that forward and help other people. Jen Michelle, wow, I struggle with that in my relationship, feeling secure and worthy and love. And guess what? Not only is that in your relationship with that other person, but really that's rooted in your relationship with yourself, right? No one will ever give you enough love. No one will ever give you enough attention. No one will ever give you enough of anything until you start giving it to yourself. Yeah. Oh, this was another one here. Jen, Jen just dropping, dropping bombs here. We can make the switch in loving ourselves and not having to search for validation in relationships. Yes. I love the idea of the infinity, uh, the infinity circle, even though that's hard to see, right? The infinity. It's like most people and myself included for a very long time think, okay, I'm going to find another person to complete me to help close the loop and to make that infinity. But no, 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 no. How much stronger is that bond if you yourself are whole and that other person is whole and you come together and create something that is unbreakable, something that does not depend one on the other. Does that make sense? I know I'm getting into relationships here now. <laughs> that's, not even, that's not even my thing. But at the end of the day, the relationship with yourself and our relationship with ourselves is definitely my thing. And it is certainly a large part of artist mindset mastery because so many artists are tortured, right? We're all in some way tortured because we feel more than others. We are required to uh, output feelings, right? And so that tends to, uh, tends to be trouble for a lot of us, which is why I love 
mentoring people in the artist mindset mastery space. And if you are an artist and if you struggled with the tortured artist feeling, or if someone, whether that be a, a parent or just the general populace are like, oh, you're an artist. Yeah. Mm -hmm, so you're probably broke or you're probably a waiter for a living or you're lazy or whatever it is. If you've had enough of that, if you want to find a way to fight that off and also really just at the end of the day, come behind, come to a place which is a shield uh, and a safe haven away from all of that, then that is what Artist Mindset Mastery, one of the things Artist Mindset Mastery is all about. And if you'd like to be a part of a place in a group like that, all you have to do is hit the link above this video or in the comments and join the Artist Mindset Mastery Facebook group. Not only is it a wonderful group of people, artists, singers, actors, dancers, performers who uh, are coming together to just support one another, but to also have conversations like this. You know, you can learn how to sing, you can learn how to act, you can learn how to dance, but where in our uh, education system, which is part of the reason why uh, I felt so passionate about beginning something like this, do they teach us how to think? Where do they teach us about the artistic relationship we have with our bodies, right? With our spiritual connection, with our interpersonal relationships, and with our understanding of not just our skill sets, but the mindsets as well as the business of the business. So many things. Okay. So I would love to know how many people here are performers, uh, whether you're singer, dancer, uh, a juggler, <laughs> whatever it is, uh, a, a guitar player, piano. Just give me a hashtag artist if you are an artist. I would love to know. Okay. So that being said, I'm going to leave you with this question. Where in your world can you make the switch from living and thinking in scarcity to abundance and prosperity? And let's just go right back around. Scarcity is the belief that there will never be enough, resulting in feelings of fear, stress, and anxiety. But you can flip that coin to abundance which is the inner sense of personal worth and security, as well as prosperity, which is the actual flourishing in terms of financial respects, good fortune. All right. Well, that's about all I have for you now. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Uh, let's see. Oh, there's another one from Michelle. A partnership of any kind should be equal to be fully stable and sharing responsibilities doesn't mean sublimating yourself. Yes, absolutely. 50, 50, 50. Uh oh, here we go. And of course, I, I do want to take certain comments and put them up. Jen is very active in here and she says, I love singing, but don't quite have the confidence. Hashtag artists have sang in public that I love music. It's therapy. Well, yeah, exactly. But in Artist Mindset Mastery, that is one of the things that we cover and that we get to the story behind the story of your confidence. Because there was something, some point in time, sorry, where, where my producer and I are at, at odds with pressing the button. So there's some point, some time where that confidence, your story changed. Because that's just a story that you're telling yourself at the end of the day. I'm kind of revealing, maybe I'm revealing a little bit too much, but I'll go here with the last few minutes that we have and say that that confidence or your perceived lack of confidence is a story. And our stories define all that we do. Our stories are at the core of who we are. Just like our mindset, right? Our mindset is determined oftentimes by our stories. Our beliefs are determined often by our stories. And I do a wonderful, wonderful uh, training on that called the power of questions. And once again, if you click the link above and join the Facebook group, you get that absolutely for free. It's a 30 minute or I think almost 30, 45 minute training on the power of questions and how to root out those beliefs that say, I am not confident. I am not enough. I am not this, that, or the other. And and plant new empowering beliefs, new empowering stories, and how to avoid those kind of pitfalls in the future. Okay, let's see. Oh, hey, I'm just getting some news here. The two people uh, who have been watching signed up for the Facebook group. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Oh, hey, you know what? A good buddy of mine who is actually a, a genius in his own right has something to say here, and I want to bring it up. In today's technological age, where we literally have access to the complete body of human knowledge in our pockets, there's no excuse to not find opportunity in the world. Pedro, my brother from another mother, it could not be more true. And I think that's a wonderful note 
to end on. It is so true. And he uh, <laughs> understands technology a lot better than most people because he is in that world. <laughs> and uh, he actually, well, well, there's there's some fun things that he did with an Xbox that I had that there that I won't go into. But that being said, I want to bring that up one more time. It, it, we have access. We, we are we are more educated, more able, and more connected than at any other point in human history. And we literally have the complete body of human knowledge in our pockets on this thing that you're watching this on. There is no excuse outside of living in scarcity, a scarcity mindset, to not achieve what it is that you want to achieve, whether that's artistic pursuits, whether that's a uh, 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 business pursuits, whether that's relationship, whether that's a spiritual connection with yourself, whether that's something you want with your body. Right there, at the end of the day, that's that. Okay. So <sighs> that was fun. Thank you very much for watching at the end of the day, <laughs> scarcity versus abundance and prosperity and where in your world can you make the switch from living and thinking in scarcity to living and thinking in prosperity okay uh, uh last thing that my producer wants you guys to know if you want to keep up with all the information that is coming all the things that we have on a, uh, uh coming your way then just go to the group answer the facebook group above boop, 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 and answer the three questions the last question is just asking for your email in uh, return for your email not only will you be uh, brought into the fold and get more information and, and wonderful things like this, but you'll also get a free training on the power of questions and that and so much more. I'm going to open up the group very, very soon. Thank you to those of you who have registered and signed up already. Thank you for your patience. This has been so much fun. I really appreciate this. Uh, it's day 11, day 11, day 11. Oh, hey, check it out. Congratulations to you, Brian Toth for getting married. Hey, excellent. I wish you all the best. Hey, oh, that's right. Rebecca Toth, Rebecca Toth. Love to you, everybody. If you uh, uh, have hearts or thumbs up, give Rebecca and Brian some hearts and some thumbs up there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Fireworks is what I like to call it. Um, and congratulate them on their wedding. Okay. Hey, I'm Justin Guarini. You have been watching Artist Mindset Mastery, day 11 of the 30-day Facebook Live Challenge. I've had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. This was scarcity and abundance versus abundance and prosperity. Uh, err on the side of, of abundance and prosperity, won't you please? <laughs> and ask yourself the question, where in your world can you make the switch from living and thinking in scarcity to living and thinking and breathing in abundance and prosperity because it is your natural birthright? Okay. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great evening. I will see you tomorrow for day 12 of Artist Mindset Mastery. Uh, at the end of the day, it's really day 12 of the 30-day Facebook Live <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> I'm going to go take my kids out for ice cream. Have a great night, everybody.